Welcome to Answers for Kids, Lesson 22. Hi, this is Dr. Nancy, and we're going to be looking at Have Animals Evolved? Young people are continually bombarded with the message that evolution is true. Plants and animals have evolved over millions of years into abundant variety that we see today. However, the Word of God relates a different history. The last two weeks, we talked about where humans came from. We learned that we didn't evolve from apes, but God created us, especially in his image, to worship and serve him. During this lesson, we are learning how to answer some of the questions that Christians are asked. In previous lessons, we saw some of the problems with radiometric dating, compromising positions, and where humans came from, and how scientific findings like DNA support the biblical view of creation by God. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to answer the question, have animals evolved? How many of you have heard over time, one kind of animal has changed into another kind? Many nature programs such as National Geographic, Discovery and Animal Planet channels showcase alleged evolution of animals like fish into dinosaurs or dinosaurs into birds or birds into whales or horses. This idea is called evolution. It was made popular in the 1800s by a man named Charles Darwin. Have you heard of him? From the Bible, we know that God is the creator and that in the beginning was only a few thousand years ago, approximately 6,000 and not millions of years. Some people believe that life began a long time ago in a sea of chemicals that organized themselves. Evolution is the idea that over millions of years, one kind of animal turned into another kind. Eventually, the abundant variety of life we have today came about. But is that really a true story? We've already seen that humans were created in the image of God and have not evolved from ape-like creatures. But what about animals? We learned that after Adam sinned, the diet of the animals themselves was changed. What did animals and people eat before the fall? If you have your Bibles, open them up to chapter one, verse 30. This is our memory verse. I'm going to start on 29. And God said, see, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of the earth, and all trees whose fruit yield seed. To you, it shall be for food. Also, to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, in which there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so. So what did the animals eat before the sin? They ate fruits and vegetables and herbs. So after the fall, that's when sin and death and animals eating animals came about. But can one kind of animal really change into a completely different kind? Let's continue on Genesis chapter one and look at verses 11 to 13. What was created on this day? Then God said, let the earth bring forth its grass and the herbs that yield uh, seed and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in it itself and the earth. And it was so, and the earth brought forth grass and the herbs that yield seed according to its kind and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. So on the third day, that's when we have fruits and vegetables and herbs and trees, but they were after their own kind. That means each plant would produce fruit that had much variety, but were the same kind. Can you think of a different fruit today that are that way? For instance, oranges produce many types of oranges, but they don't produce bananas or apples, right? 
Here's another example. The many varieties our cherry and plum trees we have today are probably from the same one created kind. Even though they may look very different and the fruit may even taste different, these varieties of trees are in the same family and probably share the same ancestor. Okay, so looking down the Bible, what did God create in day five? Look at Genesis 1, 20 through 23. Then God said, let the waters abound with the abundance of living creatures and let the birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves within uh, the water abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good and God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of the sea and let the birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. God created flying creatures and sea creatures according to their kind with much variety within the kind. Although we can't say for sure which of today's sea creatures and flying creatures are descendants from the original created kind, scientists think that in many cases, the animals grouped into the same family or genus may be members of the same kind. In many cases, the same kind are able to mate and reproduce offspring like themselves in the wild. For example, bats. There are over 1,000 species or variety of bats, but they are all probably members of one created kind or family. There are various sea creatures that reproduce in the sea like themselves. For example, there's more than 350 species or varieties of shark yet they are all probably descendants from one created shark kind. Let's look at day six, just drop down to Genesis 1, 24 through 25 to look for the land animals. Then God said, let the earth bring forth every living creature according to its kind, cattle and creeping things and beasts of the earth, each according to its kind. And it was so, and God made the beasts of the earth according to its size, kind, cattle according to its kind, everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And if you follow down the verses, you'll see where he created mankind too. God created the various kinds of land animal to produce or reproduce after their own kind. This means that each kind of land animal would produce more of its kind with much variety within it. The Hebrew word min, M-I-N, is the word translated as kind. Although we can't say for sure which of today's animals are descendant of the original kind, scientists are pretty sure that they are grouped in the same family or genus. Many members are the same kind. In many cases, members from the same kind are able to mate with each other and reproduce. For instance, a horse kind cannot mix with a cat kind. If you look at the dog kind, it would be able to reproduce a variety of dogs, including wolves and jackals and coyotes. Can you think of other kinds of land animals God created? Maybe elephant kind or rabbit kind, or a kangaroo kind, or a tortoise kind, or a bear kind, or a deer kind. Within those kinds, you have varieties or species. For instance, we said there was a, over 1,000 varieties of bats. They would be species within the family, the bat family or kind. There's 350 species or varieties of shark. That's within the kind. From studying the Bible, we also learned that, that two of every kind of air breathing, land and land animal and birds, sometimes seven of the same, survived the worldwide flood of the ark. 
many of the sea creatures were able to survive in the water. These animals refilled the earth after the flood. We also learned that God created animals and plants after their kinds, which means that they will produce others just like themselves. But the Bible doesn't teach that one kind can turn completely into a different kind. For example, over time, a fish can't turn into a frog. In fact, today we observe animals and plants still reproducing according after their kind, don't we? Next week, we are going to look at what scientists have learned since the time of Darwin and how real science confirms what the Bible says. In your packets, there are listings of animals and matching verses in the Bible. If you'd like them look, to look them up for yourself, go ahead. If you can have any questions, please feel free to email me at toolkitministries at yahoo.com. We thank God for his word and for the truth to help us see his plan.